Hello and once again welcome back to Forgotten Hill Disillusion. Now, as I understand, I should call this Beyond Sculptural Arts because we're seeing the beyond right now. We've gone through. We're on the other side with this little pocket watch. I can go back and forth. So, I don't know if the puzzles are going to be in both dimensions. We'll have to go back and forth all the time, but I expect so. So, right, yeah. If we use the camera now, we're actually seeing our reality, which is quite interesting. Um, so, yeah, let's see. What can I do? I can twist this guy around. Right. Okay. That locks it in position, does it? Let me see. Okay. Um, I'll come back to this. I just want to kind of get a lay of the land. So, we just came out of there. Let's go this way. Right, so what have we got here? Let's go in here. Oh, that's right. Your head aches so much. Help me, please. Well, actually, maybe I could take the nails out of your head in this dimension. Can't open that. Can't interact with the table or the chair. That guy ran off to his study, right? Never actually did find his study. Save us, please, save us. There's a little keyhole down here now. Right, well, um, I'll see what I can do. At the moment, it's suggesting that I can't help you, so... See ya. Uh, this way. Oh, yeah. That's right. So, maybe I could find the sheet again and manipulate these statues? Uh-huh. Okay, shall we? I suppose we probably should. The key works here as well, so let's go to minus two. Right. Oh, yeah, what's this? Dearest Ruth, I believe I've completed operations on the creature that will guard the museum. Its bone structure and the organs I have selected make it an agile and strong servant. Okay, it's the rat, isn't it? Yes, and moreover, we will never have to worry about his loyalty. His will has been completely cleared. I believe we could not ask for better to keep our precious treasures safe. Best, Ethan. Okay, just out of interest, if I go back to those rooms where he stopped me in this dimension, like, has he joined me? Maybe. Maybe I'll see his rat face. Yeah. Okay, so this way? So, all of this is vaguely familiar to me because I, I saw it through a lens before. I don't know how much of this we can really interact with. Let's go up a floor. Let's go to minus one now. There was definitely something going on with the, uh, the, the pictures here. And oh, right, the book! Yeah, it's a different book. The Recall of the Soul. Place the following objects at the corners of a pentacle. There's an old book, a heart, a sprout, a gemstone, brain matter. Put the skull of whom you want to evoke in the middle. As the Devil's Game, to tame the souls recorded from this un the underworld, it's important to subdue them to the Devil's Game. In this way, the evoked spirits will respond only to the summoner and will be able to act in all worlds. If they're defeated in the game three times, they will be drawn back to hell. Soul extraction? Okay. Obtain a child who's going through the age of maximum malleability of the soul. Perform a rite of subjugation. The extraction of the soul can begin immediately. It will cause an unstoppable transformation of the subject into a ninch cuddy. They're ninch cuddies, are they? Okay, the speed of the mutation depends on the age of the subject and his or her physical strength. Alright. The main use of the soul extract is the deception of death. Whoever assumes it consistently will never have to worry about aging or dying. Fully emptied, ninch cuddies are bound to death. Therefore, we recommend getting yourself a good supply of subjects. Their meat is very good, braised or as a filling for delicate pies. This looks familiar. This I did in Mementos. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I wonder if we'll have to do it again. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, there you go. I now know about the dark arts, I suppose. Over here, though. Yeah, right. What's up with this? Or maybe it's over there. Right. What's up with those? Hmm. So... Let's go back to this world. And let's press this. No, it still doesn't tell me anything. Okay. 
Everything looks so much cleaner over here. Right, so if I just step out and use this, I can still pull the chain. Right. So, yeah, this is a very real creature now. Uh, it's very obedient just standing there the entire time. Oh, of course, that was the statue's head, wasn't it? In fact, it's the head of a ninch cuddy. Okay. A heart beats who got a rat eyeball finger. What the hell? Can't take any of this stuff. That hint button really isn't helping, is it? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go this way then. Ah, uh, what's up with this? Oh, okay. Looks like our first puzzle over here. Um, there were four symbols when I spanned the ninch cuddy thing around, so... Yeah, there was something about that in the book as well. What was that? Must have been one of the last things I picked up. Uh, incredible Inventions of Mr. Clockwork? Here we are, yes. I mean, that's it, right? So, you got to rotate the main part, fix the chosen symbol by, by pressing 2, and then repeat for all the other keys. So you spin, lock it in, spin, lock that in, spin, lock that in, spin, lock that in. And that... That's the code. Alright, well, I'll give that a go in a moment, I suppose. So, in here? Oh, right! Oh, <laughs> you can see again! Uh, well, I've got the cloth. What do we use the cloth for? I can still move you around. I don't know if that's of any benefit to anyone, really. In here? <laughs> There's no doors, so I guess we won't be going through there. Uh, can I stop you from seeing? No? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get out of here, and I'm gonna go left. Right. Yeah, so it's not gonna be those symbols. So, nothing here? No, okay. Well, let's see if we can actually complete that puzzle, shall we? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go back. Because there is actually a door here, isn't there? So what if I go into this music room? And then what if I just press this? It says no photo, it doesn't say no pocket watch. So the room exists. But I can't actually leave because there's no door. And I still can't use... So hang on. Where the fuck did you come from? Are you on my shoulder all the time? I swear you must be. Right. Uh, sure. So I'm gonna have to use this again. And then leave that way. Alright, so... Oh. Fair enough, so we're just gonna keep it in this section. That's fine. That's... yeah, that's ideal actually. Okay, so yeah, back to the, the first kind of screen. Over here. So, I give that a spin. Hit that. Do I click it again? Because it just spanned by itself. I'm going to click it again. And then that. And then that. And then that. And then that. Is that it? Triangle, triangle, well, f let's find out. Wow, that's a really, really simple puzzle. Uh, sure, okay, sickle, I've got a sickle. I don't need another head, do I? <laughs> I hope not. Um, Do I cut this off or something? Cut your eyeballs out? Uh, I don't suppose I could sickle out the nails from that, that boy's head. So in here. I didn't miss anything last time, did I? I mean, you can't interact with any of this stuff. 
I don't think so. That's puzzling me. The cloth. I don't know why I've got that back. And I can still ma manipulate this. Are we done with this? I think we're done with this. <laughs> I can't take your head. And I can't give you the cloth either, unfortunately. Can't do anything here, apparently. Uh, can't pick the lock with a sickle. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, believe me, I am working on it. I just don't know how to work on it precisely. This thing? No. Don't have to plunge that into your eye. Or cover your face. And we went down there, there was nothing down there. What's up with this? There's got to be something up with this. What does this all mean? Just random symbols in the background. I can't move these around like I, I could previously. That doesn't hang off of one of these, no. Okay, uh, do we need to cut these? Pretty much stumped from the get-go. That's not great, is it? Has anything changed here? Not really. No. I wonder. If I go through here, for instance, and then use this? Right. I think we're just sent back to the beginning. Yeah, okay. Uh, do you want it back? <laughs> right. Well, that gave me the marbles before, didn't it? I think it's just going through that same thing. It's playing the sound effect again. I mean, there's a bit of a theme here, you know? So... There you go! Stick with the theme! Okay, I've got a I've got a tentacle. What the fuck do I do with a tentacle? I know I tried to cut it out before, but Okay. Uh I don't know. I I'm really stumped. Come on. Do you not get any hints in the beyond? Maybe you don't. <sighs> oh, well, um, in here. There's got to be something we can do. There has to be something we can do. It might not necessarily be on this side of things. It might be in our reality. That doesn't do anything. What, what does it look like on the other side? The same thing, right. Want a tentacle? No. Do you want a tentacle coming out of your eye? One of them? No? <laughs> I don't know. There's definitely something going on here. Like, there's... Something needs to go in these slots, right? And maybe we need to find four statues to go with these four things, but... You know, it's not the tentacle. And that's of absolutely no help whatsoever, so... I'm kind of stuffed. Back up here. Right, so if we just leave, can't take the head again, can't do anything with those, no, I cut that, okay, it's the first thing I thought maybe I could cut that, it's not a chain, so, right, oh, uh, go back, go back, what do we got, ooh, it's a piece of paper, 
Hey. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um. That. I might be able to make with the projector if we can still do that. So that's back here somewhere, right? Yeah. So let's try this again. Let's see if we can create the, the face. I mean, I could create the, the horns. Oh, well, let's find out. Let's see if this is doable. So that's going to have to go about there. It's going to go down. Wait, so what? Okay, the, the line's got a good. Yeah, that's got to be vertical. See, I don't really have too much in the form of, like, the head, you know? I, I need to find something else. I need to stretch it the other way. No, I don't! That didn't look right to me, but apparently it was right enough. So, what have we got? That's just moved out of the way. I was wondering about these cogs back here. Let's go back. Let's see what it looks like in the beyond. Oh. Oh. Right. Quite a few symbols to choose from. Oh, finally! Nice to see you back. Something- okay, something's missing. Is that something a tentacle? I don't think so. Uh, right. Hungry? I looked away for a moment. Did that come out of you? Poo. I've got poo. I can't feed it right back to you. I don't know why I picked it up. Uh, right. So that's what the tentacle's for, is to feed this, this monster. Right. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> um... In here, maybe? Do you want to see this? Is that why I took the cloth off of your head? No. It's not going to be through there. Is it going to be in the music room? Wait. It's a sapphire now? Did the, the items change? Well, this one certainly does. Oh, yeah, okay. Do you think a sapphire goes in that painting, then? Maybe. Maybe. Right. You, get out of the way. I'm going back down to minus one, I guess. <laughs> so you shout out a sapphire? Well, I guess it's this one. Right? Oh, okay, something happened. What happened? I can't take it back. Nothing was added to my inventory. Maybe something on the other side? Okay. I got a yellow card. Great. Yeah, that's great. Uh, th uh, actually, that's the room that I was just trying to have a look at, I think, so... Back up there. Yeah, there was a little sort of box in that room that's inaccessible unless, of course, I use this all the time. So, yeah, in there, in the music room. Didn't I see us? Yeah, the sun. There you go. So, hang on, wait. That goes... There! Ah! A brain! Right. So, I'm, I need to find a, a tree card and a fire card as well? I guess so. Hold on, hold on. Stick with the theme, right? Uh, yeah, you. Get down here. Hungry? <laughs> Jesus, his digestive system works very fucking quickly. So hang on, what, what's this? It's not poo! It's, it's a topaz, right. So that's gonna- Ah, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Back this way, yep. Which one was that? I would say that one's the right kind of colour, isn't it? So, yep. 
Another card. That's the tree card. Okay, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, a lot of fiddling about with the elevator, but I get it. I do get it. So, come out. Yeah. In there. Use that. No, not quite yet. We need to go back, don't we? And then use that there to get a heart. And then do we just repeat the process? Is that thing always hungry? Maybe it is. It's always hungry. God damn, okay. Definitely dealing with more shit than I thought. Uh, so, what's this? Uh-huh, okay, yeah. So we got this emerald this time. Back down here. And that, I think, is probably going to go there, right? Yep, that's right. So, we get another card. Yeah, just rinse and repeat. So that's the fire card, the red card. Man, okay. Up here again. <laughs> I mean, I thought we'd have to go back and forth quite a lot between the worlds to get these puzzles solved, but not doing the same thing again and again and again. Uh, again, made the same mistake. So that goes there, and that gives me fingers. Now, do I treat these differently, or do I just feed them to the beast? I'm thinking feed them to the beast, to be honest. Oh, we couldn't wait. There you go. Very reliable, I suppose. Alright, so up you go. This is going to be, I guess, the last of the gems. And it's a ruby. A red ruby. That makes sense. Okay, I think we're done dealing with shit. Or at least, I hope so. Okay. Alright, so I can't pick this up. Okay, I'm just going to note this down. So we got a triangle. Square with a circle in the middle. Just a normal square. And uh, sort of hourglass, I suppose. I'm wondering if that's the combination for the, uh, the door. It could be. It certainly could be. Let's find out. So, which room was that in? That was like, that was the projector room. Isn't that next door? This one? Hey, there you go. Okay, so have we got like a... Have we got a triangle? Just the normal triangle. Yes! And then have we got a square with a circle in the middle of it? Exactly. And then just a normal square. Just like that. Then an hourglass. Yes! Ah, okay. Again, this wasn't on the map. Oh! Is this your study? You again. Do you want to sing with that? Not really. No, I don't want to sing with you at all. You know, he actually looks a little bit more normal wearing the, uh, the tutu. If you want to challenge me, I guess you're on the wrong side. Do I want to challenge you? I guess let's go back to the other side and challenge him? Well then, let's play. We've got a game down. Oh, this is the devil's get Right, okay, just... Let's have a look at this again. Uh, back in this book, wasn't it? Okay. If they're defeated in the game three times, they will be drawn back to hell. So the stakes are pretty high. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Looks like we've got some rules. Protect the human from the demons. Touch your pawn to choose the direction in which to move. Right. Touch a free square to create a shield. All pawns can also move diagonally. I see. So that's... Okay, that's creating a shield. And then I can move that way. Uh... 
Ça doit être. They couldn't get to me. I used the walls to my advantage. I guess that's what I've got to do all the time. Um, okay. So, that's one win to me. Do I go to hell if I lose? Find out, I guess. Uh, I guess we've got to use these two, so let's go this way. Oh, shit. Um, it's there, so I can't put a shield up. Uh, if I go that way, he's going to come that way, probably. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I could just run around for a bit, but no, he's going to get involved. Okay, I'm fucked, I think. Yeah, okay, you got me cornered, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I think I had the right idea. Oh, okay, so... That didn't go away. I just try again. So I can fuck up. Good, because I'm probably going to fuck up quite a lot. I think I had the right idea. So yeah, go back through here. What I do last time? I did that, and then you went that way. If I can get into this section here, and I put a shield there, where I am, and then one down there, I've, I've blocked myself in. So if I go that way, or over there... Let's go this way. Fuck you. Fuck you! Okay, that's great. So there's actually no limit to where I can put one of these shields. I can just put it up there if I wanted to. Sure. Probably not where I should have put it, but... Um... <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see if I can actually get around this. If I put one there... No, I'm fucked. I'm definitely fucked. It was a good thought though, right? Uh, I can block that one. Oh, you bastards. Well, I, I, I knew I was going to get caught, I guess. Just... Do what you will with me. Right, so they can actually share the same squares. <sighs> Do I have to go down there? It would get me on the way, wouldn't it? Man, if you didn't sneak in, that would have been so easy. But you did, so take it away. This is actually quite fun. I, I I like this. Okay, I think I've got to move. But I don't think I've moved the right way because you're going to sneak up on me. I've got to deal with this one like real quick because he just sneaks up on me. I'll get the solution at some point, I swear. Does it give me hints for this? I don't think so. No, I've actually got to work this out by myself. Fair enough. Okay, that's not a variable anymore, I suppose, so that's good. I made it! I don't know if that was the most efficient, but damn you. You defeated me, but Ruth will call me back. I'll come back. So did I just send him to hell? Have a nice journey to hell, bloody maniac. <laughs> That's my witty one-liner after beating him, is it? I guess it is, right. I don't know why I'm clicking that. That's always a bunch of help. Um, okay. Are we done? 
we dealt with the curator, right? I mean... Let's just get out of here. You gonna stop me? Oh, you're not gonna stop me this time! I, well, I guess we're going to see mysteries now. Go on, then. Oh boy, okay. What's going on over there? Looks like you got some new teeth, some fangs. I think what I'm going to do is save this Beyond Sea Mystery section for next time, because, uh... I actually spent an embarrassing amount of time on that last puzzle. I'm probably going to edit a lot of it down. It's probably going to be quite a short video, but I probably spent about half an hour just trying to solve that last little bit. I think I went through all the strategies apart from the one that worked. It feels like that, anyway. So, uh, yeah, we'll be returning to this area and maybe dealing with another curator next time. See you then. <laughs> Everything looks so much cleaner over here. And then what if I just press this? It says no photo. It doesn't say no pocket watch. So the room exists, and I still can't use- so hang on. Where the fuck did you come from? Are you on my shoulder all the time? Wow. Do you want it back? <laughs> can't do anything with those. No. I got that. Oh, finally! Nice to see you back. Hungry. I looked away for a moment. Did that come out of you? <laughs> Jesus, his digestive system works very fucking quickly. If they're defeated in the game three times, they will be drawn back to hell. So the stakes are pretty high. <laughs> yeah, okay, you got me cornered, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Okay, that's great. Oh, you bastards. Oh, you got me. Oh, man, I... I thought I had something there. That sound is getting really aggravating as well, because I've failed maybe ten times now. See, I stopped it, but this one is now going to sneak up on me. You bastard. Oh man, I need to come back to this with a fresh pair of eyes and it'd be so obvious. I made it! 